Hi you, welcome. All right, uh, very, very welcome everyone to uh, the fourth edition of our, uh, that is Twitter live chat. And uh, today, that's, uh, you know, for many of us, it's, it's a bit alien. And uh, thankfully, we are going to be you know, discussing with someone who has in-depth knowledge about the industry. Hi, Joseph. Hey, hey. How, How are you, you doing? I'm good. I'm good. So you've decided to do the slabbing of water as like President Museveni today. <laughs> Say that again. Say that again. Sorry. Say that again. Say that again. I'm again. saying, I'm saying that you, today you're going to be the one slabbing water like President Museveni. Oh yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, yes. Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, thank you so much for honoring my invitation. Uh, yeah. For many of you, uh, if you see me sweating, don't worry. I've just been trying to run away from traffic jam and trying to make sure that I get to this on time. Um, okay, earlier on, we've had a couple of uh, episodes. Uh, we have discussed with the different people in sports. We, we had Sultan to discuss uh, sports management in Uganda. We had Moses Maguero from KCCA. Uh, we had a basketballer. Brenda, who also joined the conversation. And then we had uh, Patrick Anyomoz as well to discuss the element of USPA, but also how young sports journalists can benefit from USPA and how we can grow in this industry. But today I want us to discuss something very interesting, something that is that seems very alien in Uganda, and that is branding in terms of sports, but also yeah. branding for, for the athletes. Yeah. Uh, but before we get into the business end of it, probably uh, tell the viewers, who is Joseph Awino? Mm. Uh, yeah. Joseph Awino. Um, in the sports world, I'm known for digital media. Um, yeah. I'm the founder of uh, Kao Sports. Yeah. Um, and um, my company, which is primarily a, a tech company, uh, helps build a uh, web solutions for sports organizations as well mm. uh, in terms of uh, things like uh, websites, um, social mm. media consultancy, branding in general, uh, digital strategies, yeah. and um, you know things like cloud hosting and all that kind of stuff. Um, basically, yeah. it's helping um, individuals and organizations to get onto the internet and leverage um, the available digital tools. Um, yeah. So that's pretty much what my company does, whether it is in sport, um, in entertainment, or technology. That, that, that's quite very vast. Um, I'm sure yeah. you, you're good, definitely going to be giving us a lot of insight, uh, yeah. considering how much, you know, uh, I've also seen a picture of you carrying a replica of the Champions League trophy outside Old Trafford. Uh, we will not get into that discussion, though. <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> Uh, considering I'm an Arsenal fan, we'll not get into that, cons uh, that conversation. But um, let's talk about uh, branding. I've seen, you know, first of all, for Kawa Sports, I've seen you've gone through different phases of, uh, of branding. You've, you change. It's not the same that we saw in 2009, uh, 2000, uh, 2010. It's now very different more, uh, uh, website altogether. You can see that there's much more improvement in terms of the, 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 the edits that are done, but also I've seen you've gone video. You know, uh, probably take us through what that is like and what you think other starting companies need to borrow from, from you. I think m my advice has always been that uh, the first thing to do is just to start. Mm -hmm. uh, normally people wait for everything to fall in place. Um, yeah. And, and, and take a while before starting. Uh, mm -hmm. If you want everything to fall in place, you would, it would never work for you. Um, mm -hmm. So that has been always our um, philosophy. Uh, do what we can uh, with available means and then keep uh, improving. Um, yeah. So ideally that is how we 
we started out. Uh, when we started Kao Sports, the idea was just to profile uh, athletes to you mm. know do some sort of um, section where you, you would find you would punch in a, a, a an athlete's name and you would find his name, lay bio data and stuff like that. Uh, but then in the process, we realized, okay, we're trying to get this bio data, but it doesn't exist. We don't know the age of these players. We don't know where they come from. We have no clue about them. And we can't find that information online. So at that point, we pivoted and, and started um, immediately. We had uh, staff we, and, and started doing, you know, pretty much like proper news. Um, mm-hmm. the media house to to build content around yeah. uh, players and amplify their profiles you know put them at some level where they can have some sort of uh, name recognition so uh, in essence um i feel that anyone who wants to start you just you will always get better you will keep improving um and that applies to whether it's at an organization level or even as an individual if you're an up and coming athlete if you you cannot wait to be able to 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 hire for example a publicist you cannot wait to yeah. be able to say i can now afford to have an iphone so that i get a good phone or to wait to have a, a personal photographer you, you can't wait for that you need to start with yeah. um, whatever level you um you know open that facebook page open that instagram account open that twitter account and start engaging with your audience even if there are two or five uh, followers it is a start uh, in the in the end you, mm-hmm. you get to to grow Yeah I, I I thank you so much for talking about uh how everyone needs to embrace um you know digital media and how it has to be your own initiative to push yourself because at the moment um for for all our viewers please we apologize the internet is not really uh the best of of things but as you all know in the country anyway but um, back to points um when you talk about how everyone uh, mostly sports athletes need to really embrace this as a personal venture because quite frankly speaking the money does not pay uh, quite well for athletes in Uganda to to have their own socials or to have to hire their own you know public relations personnel but um i, I want us to start with the the club you know the sporting disciplines themselves which would you think have been the sporting disciplines in the country that have tried as much as possible to to do a bit of branding or to even go out there and do a proper branding um off the top of my head i would say fufa they have uh, done a, a very good job um i think uh, they are the most um forward you know looking in terms of uh, looking at the value that comes with the, engaging an audience cultivating an audience and 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 having name recognition around the board i think um for example we we built the fofa website um like about 10 years ago or something like that the, the <laughs> like fofa fofa website and yeah. you know at that point um you know moses magogo was still uh, the vice president in charge of administration and stuff like that but you could clearly see that there was interest in being able to build mm. something um and um, and that has grown over the years um after a while you you find that uh, they had a dedicated you know um in direct in terms of in, in charge of communications uh that is when you started seeing like what you call right now we call them what media officers um those yep. um, they started hiring you know at reached a point even where they have media officers mm. the hippos um yeah and generally i think that is the approach to be taken you know when you build on the fact that you need to start they started once they started yeah. then they started you know um you know consolidating the the available tools that they had um you know having proper facebook pages people, most people say okay people want to move from zero to one, to 260 to 10 to that um no no like before you like immediately on day one, day two, i want my facebook page verified I want, you know the, uh, yeah. i want to have this what it, it's, it's not <laughs> the way to go um Yeah. yeah you need to start and and once you start you need to um, 
you know consolidate on everything that you have every day you keep uh, improving on it so as a way of example mm-hmm. yes i think fufa has um, has set that example um unfortunately there are not so many examples that you can uh, come up and say so and so is doing a good job here and there like that you know but when you mm-hmm. talk of fufa you talk of kcca you talk of vipers all those are organizations that have um you know you see that there is a path they are following you see that there is some kind of progress you know that um, next month it's not going to be the same the same um so yeah. in, in essence I, i think that is the kind of what we expect okay um you know i've, I've seen yeah. rugby the rugby union has uh, been trying to force the different clubs to to embrace digital media and asking them and of course they put a they, they put a, a condition uh, in, if you to receive 10 million from us and our sponsors you need to have a certain number of uh, you know uh, followers on social media facebook twitter instagram and all that do, do you think that this is the right way to go or it is about or it should be provide the funds for this uh, for these clubs let them hire someone and let and then task them at the end of probably one or two years to give you results um <laughs> in the first place they shouldn't be forced yeah you get what i mean the the, the yeah, rugby union shouldn't be at a position where it is forcing clubs to do the basics um mm. to be honest i i i it, it, it just baffles me that they have to do it they they just they shouldn't because unless the oh dear sorry the internet seems to be a bit of a problem hmm. unless the rugby union has um yeah. specifically um i don't know whether they lost you at some point there but my the yes, point i'm trying to make is that, a bit. yeah the the yeah uh, the point i'm trying to make is that they they shouldn't be a, a point where uh, organi- sports organizations are being forced to have social media presence that goes without saying you should have them uh the fact that the yeah. union is forcing these clubs to have it and putting conditions is 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 like really uh, bizarre um but maybe it's the approach uh perhaps they do not understand the value of having um, all these in place and maybe the union could have a better you know tactic in in how to you know encourage the the organizations to have it probably before the forcing they they should have had some sort of workshop uh to yeah. explain the value of having that so that they don't need to reach a point where they are saying uh you know if you don't get do the abcd you will not get the 10 million um so that, that the clubs should know by themselves that it is important that we have this in place because they are pretty much basics i went to yeah. to barcelona uh, the, the 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 club and we might have lost you to madrid i'm not just if we lost you a bit um, oh my god okay um yeah i um i can hear you tell me that you lost me but i'm here so i'm wondering what's happening um, <laughs> the, the network is bad a bit yeah, yeah. but you're saying you you were you were okay. barcelona all right yeah i'm saying that we went to barcelona uh, preparing for a very big match no media uh, we were just special guests invited to the training ground but 20 minutes went by the time we got out of the training ground when i checked on my phone the daily mail had you know clips from the training um sky sports had clips from the from from the training and it clearly tells you that these are people who have taken it upon themselves uh, to build their brand there was not one single yeah. media house at this training ground that we were at you know but mm-hmm. they had content that they had been able to push out uh to yeah. to to the media and and made it very easy for people to cover so the mm. big news was that messi had had missed the training session you know mm. um but that there was the point is that there was no media house but yeah. barcelona built content they had their own in-house team that had training clips and all that and they had already pushed it out 20 minutes later by the time we were coming out 
that news was out in, in, on, on Twitter and everywhere. On Twitter. You know? Yeah. Yes. But, but so again, going back to the point that I said that if if uh, the the clubs can you know get to be shown the value of having that at whatever level you don't need yeah. to have uh, a million uh, followers or a hundred thousand followers you just need to start when it is 10 20 100 they need to start and and when they start they need to start with the basics if you do not yeah. have a professional dslr camera you probably can take yeah. a photo <laughs> with a phone you get yeah. So that, that's why yes, I've I guess never understood that you look at a sports organization and, and they don't have any photos at all. So you ask yourself, no one in the club management has a decent phone that can take photos? No one? Um, you know, chairperson of the, of, the, of the club, you know, well, which yeah. has, I think it would have been a fan no one has a photo of this sports organization. They're like, you know. Mm. So, yeah, in essence, the... the they shouldn't reach a point where the union is telling people that this is the condition before you get money because they are basics. Unless the union has put in like really, really high, you know, uh, expectations. I, I see this as a basic and it's not even a point of discussion. If they are saying you must have a social media presence, ABC fine. Obviously, it is weird that the union is having to, to monitor that aspect. Um, it clearly says it shows that there's a vacuum. So the best solution to it is that the union needs to arrange training workshops where these club organizations can be shown the value of embracing uh, digital tools available that are quite cheap. You know, it's not yeah. it's you don't pay to have a Facebook page, a Twitter account, or an Instagram account. Have it, and once you have it, post something. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, uh, you speak about how it's important for the union to set uh, the, 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 step, uh, the stage, but also to help in terms of uh, 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 ensuring that they, they train the clubs. Probably it comes from a point where even the union itself needs a bit of training because when you look at what they have, uh, when you look at their own pages, they really lack in terms of, uh, in terms of timely communication for all activities that are going on in the league, but also in the national duty. Um, we can, let's talk about uh, the football, per se. Football has been, I, I've, I've seen a progress at KCCA. I've seen progress at uh, Vipers. Uh, recently, uh, AC Villa hired uh, Bernard Olupot, who has also started building uh, the the public relations for, but also the branding for for, for AC Villa. What, what advice would you recommend for say football in general to be able to reach points where KCC are at, are at the moment, where are, where they are being recognised all over Africa? Um, let let me first say one thing. Um, everyone needs training. At whatever yeah. level you are, there is always going to be like better people than you are, you know, people who know a lot more than, than you do. You know, I have access to lots of case studies that keep coming up from Facebook Inc. And you get to see, okay, Barcelona has done this and, and, and Man City will learn from it. Uh, you will yeah. find that, um, you know, Cleveland Cavaliers will, will learn something from what Man Manchester United has done. So every every point that you find there is there is need to keep on uh, picking up new knowledge um, to, to continue improving on the craft. Uh, so yes, the, the union needs to be trained, the, the clubs need to be trained, um, everyone needs to improve, but at the end of yeah. the day, the most important thing is to start. Um, once, yes. once you start, you keep improving, so that you have something to say, okay, I've moved from point A to B, and now I'm moving from B to C. Um, in terms of the football organizations, uh, what they need to, to do, I, I think the first thing is for them to understand the value of, of this, the, the value of having a decent enough brand. Uh, one thing we've not realized is that having great top of the mind awareness, name recognition is something that eventually uh, permeates throughout your organization. You get more sponsors, probably you get more, um, you know, attendees to the, to, the, to the matches. All that is extra revenue that is coming in in multiple ways. More people will buy your merchandise. So people need to realize that everything now starts revolving around how strong your brand is. 
Manchester mm, United mm. has been really rubbish on the on the football pitch. They are still <laughs> loved globally. You get yeah. it? I have been yeah, to Manchester. It. I've been to Manchester seven times and never witnessed a win. Never. I've been there <laughs> seven times, not seen them win, but I still go. Can you believe uh, that? Joseph, I think, Trip number I think, one, I think no win. <laughs> you get. It. So, so you, you get the point. Like, and when I go there, you will find people have traveled from China, from Hong Kong, everywhere. Where are they going? Right they don't live yeah. in Manchester. No, neither do they live in the UK. But the brand is so strong. Uh, because, yeah. you know, Manchester United reached someone in Uganda somehow, mm. in whatever mm. way. Mm. It reached someone in China. And because of yeah. that, someone says, oh, okay, let me, let me do what? Let me pick a ticket. Let me go to Manchester. You get Yeah. And watch the yeah, market. It's the same thing to Arsenal. Arsenal is also equally doing really terribly. But there are people mm. who keep going. The, the moment you step in the UK, you'll go to, to, to the Emirates, you know, and, and, and watch a football match. You get mm-hmm. it. So I get it. I get it. The point is that these, these organizations manage to reach people in far-flung areas. Which, what is the best way right now to reach people across the board everywhere? It's digital. Digital. So mm-hmm. the sim- yeah, the simple thing to learn, the simple thing to start picking up on is to invest in that. You can't mm-hmm. say you, you have any ambitions and the club doesn't even own a camera. Priorities. Mm-hmm. You get yeah. how, how, you know, the, the, the club has nothing, you know. So mm-hmm. there is no, there is nowhere to start. So tomorrow you walk into MTN or Airtel, wherever, with your proposal, you're nobody. No one has ever heard of you. You've never yeah. gone viral. You've, you know, no, <laughs> no one has ever forwarded a video from from my youth. No one has a clue about you, who you are. So that that becomes a challenge. Um, there was a time when on the Paraka, everyone wanted to get in, in you know, involved with on yeah. Paraka. Buy an on Paraka jersey. Go to an on Paraka match. Why? Because people started knowing there exists an Ondo Paraka, you get, and then fans okay. started coming you know, all, all there. So, at the end of the day, you start, start and start creating that content, um, the photos, the videos, whatever, in whatever form. There are people who mm. create uh, videos from a mobile phone. Then there are those people who create videos from a DSLR. Then there are those who have a camcorder. Then there are those who have cameras that cost hundreds of thousands. They all create content. <laughs> I say yeah. all create content, but w- at which level are you and how can you start so that you, you look for, forward to that? So uh, in terms of these clubs like KCCA, uh, SC Villa, you know, Vipers and all these guys, they need to continue investing in, in, in this. You, you ask yourself, why should you send a management team of five and no person in charge of media to a match in Sudan? Mm. Okay, the match is not being covered, but the, so you you all go with the players. The players play, they win, and we have no photo. <laughs> the club has nothing to post. But in addition to they the won. players, they had five mm. people. Who are these five people? And you want to tell <laughs> me the priority doesn't? You know, there's no yeah, video officer yeah. that was that was taken there. So those are all things that structurally that need to be uh, modified. People need to start understanding that this actually affects the bottom line. Um, mm. You being able to get on to to go viral, to to have an article on Kao Sports, to, to 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 be trending on Twitter, to to have someone send a, a ten second clip of your player, you know, doing something interesting on someone's WhatsApp, all that, you need to realize that that actually affects the bottom line. The more you go viral, the more people get to see your, you know, your, your club and know about your brand, the more they'll buy the merchandise, the more they'll buy those yeah. jerseys, the wristbands, the cups, and all that kind of stuff. The more people will say, okay, tomorrow let me go and watch this club. I'm, I'm, you know, Today I get a, today I get a viral video of Impis doing something. Tomorrow it's happening again. The next yeah. day, send, let me go and see this for yeah. myself. You get so yeah. I, I think that is that's what needs to happen before we worry about everything. Whatever resources we have, start pushing yeah. out as much as possible. Be visible. Yeah. Mm. 
I, I mean, uh, you talk about uh, the likes of impis. I, I see Ernest uh, Kakalakanda in, in there, and he's talking about impis. Uh, probably he's already thinking about quitting pirates to go and join impis, but we'll leave that for a discussion for another day. Um, he better break it on chaos, but otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> for more for more for more views uh, now um, yeah. what are some of, what are some of the platforms that you think um, you know different ones sporting disciplines or clubs need to adopt but also uh, athletes need to adopt uh, before they can even go anywhere um, so i i do have the you know the mind that if you can be available everywhere Okay. Mm. I'm a Manchester yeah. United fan, but when it comes to digital, as a matter of fact, Manchester City, who I hate, are much better. <laughs> you go to TikTok mm. and Manchester City already has set up. You get mm. they have a TikTok mm. about Manchester United doesn't have. Yet they have the ability to do it. So my philosophy is that if you are able to, if you're able mm. to be available on every single platform. Why? Because there are people existing in, on those platforms and you need to reach them. However, yeah. there are cases where you will spread yourself thin. Uh, so you mentioned that, for example, Villa hired Bernard and probably doesn't have extra people. Okay? In such a case, they need to pick where their audience is. So it's quite easy to say, where are SC Villa supporters? Are they on Twitter? Are they on Facebook? Are they on WhatsApp? Are they on Insta? They're what downtown. They're down. You get okay, <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> downtown people, maybe they're on WhatsApp. So pick up mm. their phone numbers and send them uh, WhatsApp messages, um, mm. or SMS them. Whatever. Uh, the point is, you need to understand your customer, and and. Mm. If you do not know who your customer is, it's a problem. So you need to know where your, who your customer is and where they are, and then go to that yeah. place and serve them. Um, but yes, in essence, um, right now, if you are a Ugandan athlete or you are a Ugandan sports organization and you do not have a Facebook page, a Twitter account, and a, an Instagram account, there's a problem. Uh, mm -hmm. You really need to have those three at, at a base. Uh, YouTube, yeah. I, I have my views about YouTube. I feel that most people do run. You remember when I told you people want to move from zero to, to 260 or to, something to like that? Yeah. You don't even have your own video, but you've opened a YouTube account, which <laughs> will have copyright issues. You've, you, you get, you mm, don't know how to I make get. a video, but you've already opened a YouTube account. Um, yes. Uh, start and the place to start is where you can't have issues. Um, you can mm -hmm. open your Facebook account, open your Instagram account, and open your Twitter. Then, when you're ready, open the YouTube account. But YouTube. at that point, mm -hmm. at that point, you have uh, you have done considerably well on on Facebook, and and you can show some kind of uh, some kind of progress, especially where you're not going to be uh, spread thin. Sorry, uh, the internet is back at disturbing us again. Uh, but um, okay. at the close of this, um, 